Hey y'all, I'll be reacting to Serial Experiments Lane Episode 3 and I'll be starting my reaction from the 2 minute and 30 second mark in 1, 0, go. Wonder how they're gonna follow up the spectacular finale of the previous episode. Cause oh boy. It's like, hmm. Okay, now this is getting real, real good now. Oh boy. It's not her fault though. But still, I like how she's asking for an apology though. Honestly... Honestly, Alice is a sweet girl, though. Hmm. Honestly... I honestly hope I expect to see that kind of emotion from... from her family. But honestly, no, Alice is cool, though. I mean... She apologizes even though it's not her fault because there's no way she could have controlled that. She was just legitimately thinking that we're going to all have a fun time bonding experience. And then to tear up like that and apologize that actually shows you she has a lot of high tier mobile fiber. It actually makes me respect and appreciate Alice more. She's cool in my book. Just shitty bad luck. That ruined what could... Oh, that's cute. She even has the bears. Flippers too. Wait, that's weird. I mean, wasn't her dad like building a computer for her? No, just in the previous episode, right after. Right before dinner. I guess they must have had a conveniently planned vacation, then I guess. I guess it does explain how she was able to get out then. So easily. But then again, even if they were there, I mean, Lena's a smart girl. She probably would have been able to figure out a way to sneak out. Seems like a smart girl. What was the, that eerie noise in the background, though? It's making me feel sh a bit of shivers there. Oh man! Just have an eerie feeling something's gonna happen to her, and I don't want to. He's too precious. <laughs> Oh, I actually want to see what her sister's room looked like. <laughs> yeah. Just out of curiosity, I know it wasn't. There's no, there's no need for that. Still, though. Scratch my itch of curiosity.
Okay, that's creepy in there. That it actually responded that quickly, that fast. I wonder, maybe she has like an alternate personality that actually is that outgoing girl. Kind of like an alter ego, maybe? Kind of like Jacqueline Hyde? Where it's Jacqueline the... Or was it Hyde in the daytime? I don't remember who it was who was in nighttime, but one of them was the nighttime. It was kind of like a wolf. Oh, for a second, I thought she was in some kind of psychiatric ward. Never mind. She goes really, really bright right now. But then again, there are parents like that. Well, as long as the trouble isn't too serious, they wanna they don't wanna seem like they're hand holding the chip kid too much though. So. Oh, and then there's some people that just have a fair distance from the child, but it's probably that creepy acid with the eyes. What okay now that just looks like a laser scope. Okay, I thought for a second there was going to be some kind of random ass gunshot or something. My only guess is the internet. I have no idea what the hell I'm talking to her right now. I'd say the man's character design was relatively, relatively good looking if I were to give a rating. Smile. The very least shows you that. Huh? Asuki, what? what? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I wonder if it was actually affecting her mindset then. And I wonder if the same thing is slowly happening to Lane too, where she's slowly going crazy and... Hopefully she can find it though. Well, hey, some people can take death really, really well. I mean, not a lot of people. But... I mean, it's rare, but it can happen. No, I think Alice is taking it the right way. Some people take it differently. <laughs> 
Yo, I like how she looked all hype. Dang, those two. <laughs> ah, they'd be wanting on some drama. It's a novella drama. So, so from Lane, the only other likable character in here is Alice. Which I don't mind. Because most of the focus is on Lane anyway, so... If it just keeps on showing her... Or Alice, then I'm fine. Hmm. Oh, that is one of the dangers of the internet. You know, and even nowadays, kids do some crazy shit on the internet sometimes. Not all kids, just some. Hmm. You know, this enemy, I remember reading this was made in 98. If this enemy was made like in 2013, they probably mentioned that the chip was made somewhere in China or something like that. Usually because that's where uh, certain computer parts are outsourced. And all that. Mm. Holy. Kind of like that showing you the fears of the internet. Showing off how it was so easy to blackmail people back in the time and were incriminating foils can really screw you over. And that could even apply towards today too, also. Actually, even today those themes are relevant where you gotta be careful what you have on the internet. You gotta be careful what you do because they could spread on the internet. At least the dad shows more warmth. At the very least. He actually feels... Okay, that's where you would think at the very least be curious to study that thing. What the? Okay, going by that though. No, I actually have no idea why you'd react that way. I mean, honestly, Lane's parents are weird. I'm not even gonna. <laughs> They're fucking weird! Okay, now that's just getting creepier. Yeah, I'm noticing she's at the rarest learning because she doesn't have that hat anymore going into the cyber uh, cafe and bar. I mean, it's... Okay, this dude is freaking creepy. Almost looks like double her size.
Wait, what, wait, what, what? Planning? Huh? Did I miss like, this is episode three. Yeah, it's episode three. It ain't, it ain't like four. It's like, Oh, okay, I mean, it's really gonna be... Oh, okay, it's actually a surprise the kid actually knows. All the more reason that she should keep it. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I wonder why the guy's looking at her officially dumb. Alright, that gets pretty cool. And that's actually really nice too, the smell of gratitude. Oh. Wait, so that means... So wait, that means she was the chick then? Showing up as a two real quickly now? Huh. Hey. Whoa! No! Yeah, I'll be shooting a shot there. I could see why someone would be attracted. I could see why a kid would be attracted to her. I mean, she's got a cutesy character design. But yeah, she has like a sense of maturity too in the character design. I could see why. I'm surprised Elaine's sister hasn't commented on that car. I wonder if the father actually knows something about all this. If she's ignoring, then she brought her and the father probably knows something's up. And they're just not saying it. That's why, that could explain why when he saw the psyche in the hand of Lane, the father didn't say nothing. It's actually nice to get to see her hands getting figuratively dirty. Hmm. 
Oh, okay, that seems different from our typical lane. What? Yeah. Uh, that's... Okay, I wonder how the wired lane and the actual lane work. I know that's my reaction, but let me just see. Besides, the, it's the ED, it's the same ED as every episode, so... Yeah, she even sounded a bit more outgoing. I could see why her sister was surprised. Yeah, that is something that... Yeah, yeah, I could see why she'd feel less off. That is something that not even the real Lane would ever, ever do. She would never smell someone like that with that much warmth. Maybe like a nice, appreciative smell, but never like that, baby. Alright. As far as this episode go, I thought it was relatively interesting. There were some nice emotional moments here. Like when you actually have them actually discussing why no one's actually reacting to the whole situation. I love stuff like that. And then additionally, I actually like the emotional moment too where Alice was like apologizing to Lane. And then you even see her trying to look out for her when she told the other two girls not to try to take... Not trying not to look at what's inside the envelope. So there were nice moments there. It makes her pretty likable. Shows you that the real chick is selfless. She's quite an extrovert. Tries to, at the very least, understand people. She's understanding. She doesn't look at stereotypes. Off with just a few sequences. And with Lane, you actually get to see some character development because you see her actually take the initiative. She actually goes and asks about the psyche. So she's a bit more assertive this episode. And she's definitely adapting because when Lane seems like a normal soap, she doesn't even wear the hat that she did in the first time. She ate, so she actually is picking up on fashion cues and she's maturing slowly. So I do like that subtle growth, those little details. Then on top of that, it does bring up a mystery like what are those people with like black clothing doing? And then what are they like, why are they stalking around and all that? Just feels really, really weird in a good way. Brings a lot of intrigue and mystery. And then on top of that, it brings up a lot of questions about the father because it's like, why do you not want to answer anything about that psychic chip to his daughter? Because, yeah, he's saying, he just sort of pleased, but I have a feeling he probably knows that what meets the eye because not even, like, the mother wanted to talk about it to Lane's sister about the whole situation. So, all in all, I'm liking how it's introducing a lot of mysteries. The animation art were gorgeous again. Like, zero complaints. Everything popped. I thought the, the amounts of music they used to fit in pretty well. And I just love the atmosphere. And I'd say I'm going to rate this an 8.75 out of 10. Not as badass as episode 9, but I thought it was even better than episode 1. So I thought overall, great episode. But anyways, y'all. These are my thoughts on the episode. Be sure to comment on your thoughts on how you feel about my reaction in the comment section below. Rate the bid, share it, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later if you come back for more. Because I'm definitely pumped to see what the next episode is going to have. And I'll be sure to upload my reaction to the next episode tomorrow, most likely. But anyways, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Have a grand safe day, everyone. And be sure to rate the bid, share it, comment, subscribe. And yeah. Bye-bye, everyone.